Hi Aries, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, this is a look at your love, life, and advice for the month of January. I um, am turning the weekly element readings that I was doing on love, life, and advice into a bonus individual reading for every sign. So you can leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, I also may be discontinuing the spiritual readings and just focusing on love in general and doing them bi-weekly along with this monthly bonus reading. So let me know what you guys all think. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Hope you had a great uh, holiday season. Happy New Year. So let's see what's going on with Aries, love, life, and advice at this time. I do say at this time, for whenever you see this, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, your Love and General playlist are below in the description box. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Only take what resonates. And also in the description box, you can find out how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, how to tip or donate or send a gift. All that is below. Wow, okay. So let's see what we have here for Aries. And we have a 45 here. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. 45 is 9. And 9 is all about fighting for something to me. So, And then on the bottom here, we have 25, which is 7. Romance. Lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. And 7 is a very spiritually, divinely guided number. So it definitely has to do with love here or romance, or whether it's a new romance or just a long-term romance or commitment, relationship, whatever here is maybe needing to be more supportive to one another and maybe being more uh, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, maybe making a date night, going out, spending more quality time together, being more in a loving, romantic, supportive energy with one another is what I'm getting also. All right, so let's take, and I'll be clarifying, once I get all the messages out, I'll be clarifying with the tarot, just like how I used to do on the Element Weekly readings. So let's see what we have for life, for Aries, at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And a quick shout-out shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have tip or donated, sent a gift, or reached out for personal reading. Thank you, thank you so much. All your support really does mean a lot to me, and I could not do it without you guys, so thank you, thank you. All right, let's get one more shuffle. All right, so at life, life for Aries, what's going on? We're at, let me swap one. Feel that one. Eight of Gabriel, this has been coming out in like every reading. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. Eight of Gabriel is the eight of wands, that fiery passionate energy. Some sort of um, either a lot going on with you, around you, or something's going to start happening around you. A lot of activity, a lot of quick, quick, fast movement, communication kind of energy also. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfillment, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So this is the Ace of Cups energy. So this could be a brand new beginning in love coming in for you. Or something could be happening that is, um, could be very emotional, uh, happens very quickly. Or this could be, you know, a new, like a spiritual awakening, you know, happening very quickly. Like something happens and all of a sudden it opens up your spiritual uh, awakening. Because the Ace of Cups can be like a new spiritual path, awakening, brand new beginning in love or something like that. Cups is all about love, feelings, and emotions. So, but it's going to happen very quickly here. So, or some sort of communication comes in, uh, could be regarding a loved one, could be emotional. All right. So let's see what your advice is. Aries at this time for this bonus reading. Thank you so much, Spirit, for Aries. I do ask Aries, especially if you're new, if you like my energy and how I read, please check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And I love to read the comments. So 
advice for Aries at this time. I guess I'll check hard. <laughs> we have Arakura blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process, and do not give up. All right, so what else do we have here? Sar Saravasta, Saravada, the arts, express yourself through creative activities. So, huh, so some of you may need to uh, tap back into your creative side, whether it be writing, music, um, paintings, you know, something artistic, could be singing, it could be, um, could be anything here. Something creative that is creative for you, whatever that means for you. Maybe some of you are setting forth on a new creative idea, project, uh, or something here. And it's just at the beginning, it's just, it's just starting to blossom. And it's telling you uh, not to give up. Just enjoy the process and have patience. And just don't give up. Could be songwriting for some of you. All right, let's see. Or just writing in general. Let's see. Whatever the arts mean to you. Whatever you do that is creative for you, something is just blossoming and getting started. It's something that's very peaceful and harmonious because I do see a lot of white there, which is very peaceful, harmonious uh, energy. All right, so let's clarify romance and be supportive for Aries at this time. Wow. Let me take these two. Well, let's see. I think I'll take them all. So we got balance. So yeah. So if there's been and and death here, um, could be transforming. Doesn't necessarily have to mean something's ending. Could just be transforming a connection here to a into a more balanced state with the six of pentacles there of equal give and take, being supportive of one another, loving one another equally. Five of pentacles, both feeling like neglected, lonely, left out in the cold. Holding back from each other. Wow, you got the four or five of pentacles. So maybe you've been holding back from one another. Kind of like just holding back. Not really being affectionate, loving, or supportive or anything like that. Wow, okay. Seven of swords energy. So that's like energy of like sneaking away from something. Can be like theft, negative energy, um, lies, deceit. But... I don't know. I'm not really getting that energy. So yeah, stable new beginning here with your person. So they can be there can be stability brought back into the situation if this is something. Uh, it's already a commitment or relationship of some kind. There can be equal give and take. This can be very balanced again if we choose to transform the energy instead of being in that energy of holding back and neglecting one another, turning you back on one another, just kind of like, you know. Here comes the other person. You kind of go the other way kind of energy. But the Ace of Pentacles is here to say that it's divinely guided energy that this can be, and this kind of also reminds me of the Pentacle again, a very secure, stable relationship. Once more, we can rebuild the foundation and the structure towards the future and make it more stable and grounded moving forward. So there can be transformation and balance if you choose to do that with your person. Or the view, however, uh, resonates for you by bringing love and romance, supportive energies back into the situation. So let's see. You know, with the 45-9, not giving up, fighting for it. And 2-5-7, um, and five, seven, very divinely guided spiritual number. So over here, so we got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Rods. Wow, so that's a fiery, some some sort of creative new endeavor, project, passionate new beginning. Something stable coming in here with the page of pentacles, an offer or something. Could be a job offer, beginning a new job, career, or something like that. It could have to do with over here. Something you're totally in line with, that you're in love with, and it's going to happen very quickly. Could happen very quickly. Queen, queen of cups now, king or queen, doesn't matter. So being just in tune, in touch, listening to your intuition, being in a loving, caring, compassionate energy, like totally in love with this idea, with this positive movement forward, this new opportunity. 
it's going to happen very quick or come in very quick. Wow, we've got the Eight of Rods on the Eight of Rods. So double whammy quick, quick. <laughs> like super quick, fast here. Wow, two Eight of Wands. Holy crap. And the Ace of Wands. So yeah, divinely guided energy here. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes of dreams coming true. Wow. What else? And the Ace of Swords. Are you kidding me now? So the Ace of Swords is like the truth of the matter. A big epiphany, aha moment. Uh, success, victory, the sword of victory, a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity. A divine energy here, shedding light on a situation and the truth of the matter. That whatever's coming in for you, you may, I don't know, for some reason be emotional about it. It's going to happen very, very quick. Very quick. And you're just going to love this passionate new endeavor, idea, opportunity. It's very stable and grounded. It's divinely guided for you. And... It's a success, a victory, sort of success and victory here. Wow. So whatever that, however that means for you, take that however, however it, it could be in love, it could be a new job opportunity or whatever here, but wow. Okay. And the, you know, star is also about healing energy. So it could be a very healing opportunity for you also. So let's see what this blossoming in the arts. Wow. So the sun energy. Wow. We got a great reading here, Aries. So this is success, victory, again, healing, enlightenment, um, wishes and dreams coming true, a success and victory, happy home and family, Every, everything, everything positive in the sun. And we got the sun blossoming. So the sun bringing in all this, and this lotus blossoming also, the sun bringing in all this energy to help this blossom. Wow. The high priestess. So you know, listen to your gut and your intuition, and you could internally know that this is just at the blossoming stages, but it does have the opportunity for a very um, big success here with the sun the, and, and the moon. So, so we got masculine and feminine energy here. Right in the middle with you here, following your gut and your intuition, higher knowing, and just knowing what's going to happen. But really with the sun and the moon, that's balancing your feminine, masculine energy. Male, female watching this doesn't matter. So I'm getting like balance, remaining uh, balanced through this whole thing. Even though you may not see the path clearly, you're not sure what's going to happen. Um, kind of energy. Yeah, like four of cups energy here like not again like not sure but you know like you know but you're not sure <laughs> so you need to like balance that energy out like i don't know i don't know but but yes i do know so really try to balance out that energy yeah so moving forward here with drive ambition passion go getter going after it creative new idea uh project or something like that the queen of rods king of queen of rods doesn't matter so what else do we have here the hangman so you might have been waiting for this for a while and it's just blossoming so you know the hangman kind of hangs back gains perspective on everything before moving forward um gains enlightenment so having you know knowing you know this is a slow steady race you know being patient and knowing, you know, maybe maybe times when it may get hung up and nothing's really moving. Then there's times when it moves far very quickly with that queen, queen or king or queen of rods energy. But you got the yin and yang here with the balance. So you know you need to keep your energies balanced here. All right. So what do we have here? The three of pentacles. So learning something new, working together, collaboration, teamwork kind of energy. So being a little indecisive about something, whether or not that this opportunity is going to come in for you, where you can be a boss, a ruler in charge of your own domain, your own future moving forward, because it's just blossoming. So, so you're trying to figure it out here with the hermit energy going within and then moving forward, a lot of, uh, you know, love, compassion, peaceful kind of energy. You know, a little confused, not sure what's going to happen, but moving ahead into uh, calmer waters, safer place, peace, harmony, balance. After feeling confused for a bit, now being totally in love and aligned with what you're doing, moving forward, compassionate, peaceful energy, 
you know, spending some quiet time thinking, contemplating, just like with the hangman energy, maybe some time alone. Not sure, you know, is this going to come in for me, this uh, opportunity? But now, you know, working on it and uh, mastering that craft, whatever that is for you, teamwork, collaboration, working with others kind of energy. Wow, Aries, so a lot of energy here. So I hope that resonated for you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.